We are building the top drums project from the YByte Python curriculum available at www.ybyte.in. In the previous video, we took a high level view of the game loop. Uh, we understood how the game would work and we realized that we need a single while loop to make this all happen. Um, we set up some basic variables to get us moving. For example, we shuffled the cards, we distributed equal number of cards to the player and the computer. Uh, right now just by slicing but of course this can be improved um, you know and we gave table cards as an empty list uh, we have also a boolean variable which will be the basis of our let's say the while loop now in this video let's move forward a little bit and actually code that while loop it's quite logical in fact so i just go and say while let's say not say game now remember while loop keeps working while this condition is correct now i'm setting my game over to false and as i can say while not game over um, so that's basically the game loop. I will first print how many cards everybody has. So I just go and say put a print statement here. Uh, let's say uh, say player, you know, um, and maybe we can put say player cards, uh, comma, let's say length of say player cards. Now remember length is the length of the list. How many items are there on that list? Um, Likewise, the computer cards are, let's say, uh, computer cards, uh, say, comma, len of, say, compute cards. And also, let's see how many cards there are on the table. So I just go and say table, uh, you know, cards. Of course, this has to be inside an apostrophe. So I do that. Um, and that is len of, say, table cards. Now, clearly, when the game starts, Table cards are, uh, you know, uh, basically an empty list. So this number would result us in a zero. So let me just expand this uh, so that we can see it clearly. So here I'm just printing uh, the player cards, the table cards, and let's say, um, you know, maybe I can give a little bit of a space over here. Likewise for the computer cards. And let's say the table cards. Now that's just for information sake. But the, of course, the game loop has to sort of start now. Now remember, now remember, both the players will pick up the top card of their pile. Um, we can use the pop method for this. We have seen this before. For example, pop takes out a particular, let's say, uh, item of the list and assigns it to a variable. In this case, we want to pick up the top card. So I just say, let's say, I call it player um, is equal to, let's say, player cards dot pop uh, zero. And let's say compute, let's just call it compute. Um, is say well computer compute cards say say pop zero so i'll just put a small comment here uh, pick up the top card pick up the uh, the top card right uh, now in this point at this point i just want to highlight that look it's important to give this argument zero because we want the top card to be picked up uh, basically the indexing starts with zero and that's why it is uh, zero over there in case you forget to put this argument, this will be quite catastrophic in fact, because the default argument for pop is actually minus one. So we'll end up picking the card right at the bottom. And that's bad because what will happen is, remember the table cards are going to the bottom of the card, you will end up seeing the table card once again. So that's important, make sure it is a zero over here. A very important point. Uh, but having done this, in fact, I will right away append these two to the table cards. We'll talk about this later as well. Uh, remember the cards will either end up on the table or end up with one of the two players so i'm assuming by default they'll end up with the table uh, this sort of helps a little bit later but i'll just go and say well at this point i just go and append um, both the cards to the table cards so i just say player uh, say player and let's say table cards dot append so dot append and this is called say compute now be careful uh, these player and compute here are the names of variables, not to be confused with the chance, which is the string which tells whose chance it is. We'll talk about that later. But chance is a string. These are, on the other hand, um, you know, in fact, dictionaries. Because play, remember, every card is a dictionary. So when I'm popping out an item from that list of dictionaries, player and compute both are, in fact, dictionaries. But, you know, um, I can definitely append them to a list, another list. So in short, table cards is also a list of dictionaries, which is not a surprise at all, right? Now, having done this, I will, you know, let's say, uh, display whose chance it is. So I just put, let's say, an empty print here. I just put, say, print, let's say, uh, it, say, it is, say, uh, you know, uh, let's just say, chance. And I want to put, let's say, computer's chance or a player's chance. 
and I can do that by let's say uh, escape character. Um, so I just go and say well uh, say players say chance now and I will close this string. Uh, that should be it. Oh, okay, so my bad over here. This should be it is say um, say players chance or computer chance now, right? And having done this, I will you know put let's say. Um, one more uh, print here, uh, so just an empty print. I want to display the player's card. Now, this is an interesting point. Remember, in the gameplay, in the actual gameplay, the, this is a human versus computer. Both sides are seeing their card for every move. So, where, for example, when I'm playing with the computer, if there were actual cards on the table, I will pick up the top of the car pile and I will get to see my player card, which means that the player card should always be made available for the player to be seeing. And I will do that through a function. I'll just say, well, look, let me, you know, say uh, display here. Well, your, in, in this case, say the player uh, card is not to be confused with the computer card. And we will see, we will print out the player's card. Now, for keeping my code clean, I will use a function called, say, display card and say play. Now, this function display card will take in a dictionary as an input. The dictionary is essentially the card and will display it quite nicely. Now we will see this in the next video, how we display this, uh, you, know, you know, this display card. Now, if you look at this, uh, this loop carefully right now, uh, clearly this is an infinite loop because uh, notice all these statements um, from line number 28 to say line number 42 in this code here are inside the while loop. And there is nowhere that I'm setting the game over to false, uh, game over to true, sorry. Just for the sake of testing, I will make game over to true right now. We will remove this. And also for the sake of, let's say, letting the code run, I will for now just comment out this portion so that we can kind of see what's going on. The loop will run exactly once um, and we can see if the code is all set up correctly. So when I, let's say, I'll clear the, when I run this, for instance, it tells me it's, in fact, this is not looking quite nice. Uh, we can fix this. The, we can just go and say chance, which is a string. I can just go and add to this, let's say, uh, uh, say another string with this. And then I can put, for instance, uh, uh, let's say this could be the other string that I'm adding. And that should work, right? So basically, I'm going to fix this. Let's just see this now. Uh, when I do this, notice it's much better. It says it's player's chance now. That's because we have set the chance to be the player. And, uh, you know, we see that, okay, look, you know, the game starts. Now, this looks much better. Notice it says it's player's chance now. Uh, but you notice that there is, you know, the game seems to be abruptly starting. Let's fix that by giving some prints in the beginning. So we can give some prints in the beginning. In fact, I just copy and paste this from my other project because for the sake of time, um, you know, really what I'm trying to say is that, look, welcome to Top Terms Games, Skyscraper's theme. Make a choice wisely and try to win all the cards. Click enter to begin. When I run this piece of code now, it looks much nicer uh, because when I do this, so there's some kind of like a prelude to this. When I click enter, the game loop starts. Both players have 15 cards. It's player's chance and the player card will be displayed next. Now we'll come back and complete this part of the code and go further. Um, but I hope this has been interesting to you. Um, before I leave, it's very, very important for me to undo the changes that I've made. So I'm just going to get my display card, let's say, uncommented, and I'll comment this because this should really not be here. Game over will become true if, let's say, both the players or let's say one of the two players uh, finishes all their cards. Uh, I had just done that for testing. So I, I hope this is clear and interesting. Um, again, if you think this way of learning where we are applying concepts all the time, we are, you know, we are building some activity which is interesting. Uh, look at our website because that is how we learn Python programming. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.